Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. That's all I ever do. What am I, a slave around here or something? Stop slacking off and get back to work. Yeah, yeah. get back to work. OK, OK, give me a break, will you? Oh, you're not meant to say that. You're meant to say, yes, my ladies. Am I? Being Cinderella in the school play sounded like fun at first, even though Chika and Conga are pretty ugly, ugly stepsisters. But it's turned out to be the most horrible thing ever, all because of one person, Dwayne Cavendish. <laughs> I seek the foot that fits this glass slipper. Dwayne's a handsome prince. I've got nothing against him personally, but he's got the worst breath in the entire universe. <laughs> it fits! You're my princess and I, your handsome prince. Kiss me, my love. This is the bit I have real trouble with. Go on, do it. Ow, oh, ah. my what? The glass slipper, it's broken and cut my foot. Is this a new line? No! Stop making things up, Kate. Oh, start again, Dwayne. Oh, kiss me, my love. Ow, my tooth! Your tooth! <laughs> Sorry, toothache. I better go get some aspirin from the sick room. All right, pack up, everyone. We'll continue rehearsals tomorrow. Phew, that was too close for comfort. <laughs> My play's gonna be a disaster. I don't care. I'm not going to kiss Dwayne Cavendish. Oh, his breath can't be that bad. Are you kidding? It's like being hit in the face with a truckload of wombat manure. Worse. That's pretty bad. Can't you stick some plugs up your nose or something? Greg, I'm not going to walk around trying to be Cinderella with plugs up my nose. It was just a suggestion. Pickled onions? As if it wasn't bad before. Now he's got onion breath too. No onions for me, thanks. I'm on a no onion diet. I really like being in Cinderella with you. Kate, I think we make a really good couple. Really? You're a great actress. Really? Yeah, and I've got a really great idea. Why don't we get together at my place after school today and practice our lines? Great idea. Today, uh, normally I'd love to, but today I have to worm the wallabies. Sorry. Kate, it's okay. Maybe tomorrow then? This is getting worse by the minute. Cool. Great bike. Where'd you get that? My cousin was going to throw it out. Thought I might fix her up for someone. Yeah, I'm someone. I need a new bike. Like you needed a new skateboard and then broke it. That wasn't me. That was Conga. And then you needed new rollerblades and left them in the park. The big nighties did that. They stole them from my bag at school. I really want this bike to go to someone who appreciates it. I'll appreciate it. Please, Vinny. I'll look after it. I promise. One month's trial. You prove that you'll use it regularly and look after it, and then we'll see. Unreal. Can I take it for a test run now? Awesome. A boy isn't a man until he gets his wheels. You OK? Yeah, I think so. You want to watch your cornering technique, mate? Cornering technique? Yeah. Keep your momentum. Flatten the corner out. Hit the apex, OK? Keep your weight on the inside. Don't let the front wheel wash out. Oh, you, you wouldn't want to wash up, eh? You know a bit about bikes, do you? Used to ride them for a living. Really? A professional. Whereabouts did you ride? Europe, Italy, places like that. Why there? Oh, well, that's where the action is. Big races, big money. If you're any good, of course. You take care on those corners, OK? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Cool. You can get paid to do this. I'm sure we can solve this problem if we put our minds to it. What problem? My handsome prince has dog breath. Hey, Trin, you've got a boyfriend. She's too young to have a boyfriend. No way is Dwayne Cavendish my boyfriend. Give him some mints. I saw it on Santa Monica High. Trudy, the cheerleader, gave mints to her boyfriend Brad, the handsome but smelly football star. He's not my boyfriend. Just a suggestion. Bonjour, no come stay. What did he say? What did you say? Mi nome. And Marco King, and Mia Casa, and Wallaby Park. Why are you speaking Polish? Not Polish, it's Italian. Why are you speaking Italian? I need to know what to say when I go to Italy, don't I? Italy? All right, we give in. Why are you going to Italy? I'm going to become a professional bike rider. <laughs> <laughs> Still in 
bed properly, Dreamy had to spend his first million. Hey, come star, signorini. You're not seriously going to write to school, Mark. Marco. Pardon? From now on, my name is Marco. Your name will be on detention if you don't get to school on time. I'm going to cut through the bush. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Dwayne, what are you doing here? I thought I'd catch the bus today so we could sit together and learn our lines. Quick, Brain, don't let me down. Um, sorry, I can't. I've got this really bad earache and it hurts to listen to people close up. You'd better not talk or my eardrum might burst. Wow, that's awful. Here, you should have some of these. What are they? Garlic. Garlic? <laughs> I ride to school every day and do really long trips on weekends. I've mapped out a total training program. It's getting to be a bit of a habit, mate. Oh, no problem. Nothing broken. Never mind. You know, even Mario Cipollini took some falls. He did? Yeah, it's a tough sport. We all take falls. You know, some of the big races, they go for weeks. Really? Yep. Up mountains, rough roads, just like this. Cold and wet. You live pretty rough along the way, too. You need Mario Cipollini's endurance and dedication. That's me. I'm full on training. Total commitment. Great. How long you been at it? Since about quarter past eight. Right. Thanks. Molto prezzo, signore. You speak Polish? Oh, Italian. I just started learning. Good for you. Yeah. You take care. Molto bene. <laughs> I hope your earache gets better. It's nearly back to normal. And thanks for sitting next to Lisa so I could get some rest. No problem. Anyway, we can make up for it tonight. We can? We can practice in the bus on the way home. Help! Please! I don't believe it. You actually got here before class has started. What can I say? Once I jump on that bike, I just fly. Looks like you flew most of the way on your stomach. It was just a fall. All champion riders have them. Oh. Triple strength, peppermint and honey. Couldn't you get any stronger? This will be OK. Now let's find Dwayne. I must find the foot that fits his slipper. I must find the foot that fits his slipper. Hey, Dwayne, like Lolly. Thanks. this. What about her? Well, I'm really worried that she keeps on falling sick all the time. We're really falling behind in the rehearsals for the play. Kate was wrong when she said Dwayne had dog breath. That's an insult to dogs. Look, I've got this really bad disease. It's highly infectious. You better go sit somewhere else. Oh, right. Sure. It almost really runs in your family, doesn't it? Come on, Kate, you're ruining the whole... You try kissing him then, see how you like it. This is ridiculous. Uh -huh. Oh, great, now we've missed the bus. Come on, I know a shortcut. This is getting way out of hand. Hey, Vinny. Very nice. How's the bike? Molto bene, bellissimo. Come again? This bike is going to be a turning point in my life. Really? What, uh, turn into yellow, are we? Yellow's the winning colour, Vinny. I see. Guess you're going to stick with it then. But then again, it's only been two days, right? Trust me, Vinny, I'm in total preparation mode. Preparation for what? The Gara d'Italia, of course. I'm going to give Mario Cipollini a run for his money. Ciao. Some shortcut. Are you sure you know where we're going? It's been a while since I came this way. Whoa! Greg! Hey! Greg, are you all right? Look. 
false leg. I know it's a false leg, but what's it doing here? Look at this. You can't open it. You don't know who it belongs to. And I never will unless I open it. Glasses. Band-aids. False teeth. And a bottle of something. It looks like blood. It's no big deal. Stuff gets dumped in the bush all the time. But we should report it to the police. Why? There's nothing to report. There isn't? Why would a one-legged man leave his false leg in the bush? How should I know? But maybe he's being kidnapped. Maybe he's being held captive. Greg. What about the false teeth and the bottle of blood? We don't know that it was blood. And we don't know that it wasn't. We could get into big trouble if someone knew that we went to the scene of the crime and walked away without doing anything. Maybe we should tell someone. What if they think we were the criminals? Our fingerprints are now all over the evidence. I didn't think of that. If you'd only kissed Dwayne, then we wouldn't have missed the bus and we wouldn't be in this mess. Now we're murder suspects. So what do we do? What's all of this? Endurance. Living rough. It's part of my new training program. I never knew putting up a tent was an Olympic sport. I'm getting my body into peak physical condition. Not that you'd understand. He's right. Nothing he ever does makes sense to me. Is there a, Is there a post here? office near here? Chair, Chair la posta, posta qui vicino. Where are the, Where are the toilets? Dove il gabinetto? So, let me get this straight. You know two people who came across a false leg? We don't exactly know them. We heard about them, sort of. And the false leg had band-aids on it? No, the band-aids were in the bag. What bag? The one with the false teeth. I thought you said the false teeth were in a bottle of blood. That was in the bag, too. With the false leg? No, the false leg wasn't in the bag. Wasn't it? No, but there were some glasses. With the false leg? In the bag. I thought you said the false leg wasn't in the bag. It wasn't, but the glasses were. I see. So, what was it you actually wanted to ask me? Um, you've been a big help already, Gabriella. Thanks a lot. Not at all. I think we should always discuss things together. That's what families are all about. Right. Let's get dinner cracking. Where's Mark? It's his turn to help with the cooking. I think Mark is now Marco, and unless you're cooking Italian, I don't think he'll be joining us. <laughs> Credo che io preferisco il costume arancio. Grazie. I would prefer the orange bathing suit. Thank you. No, mia nonna non vuole il motoscafo. No, my grandmother will not require a speedboat. I never thought living tough would be so tough. But once I get used to it, it would be a cinch. <laughs> Must be half asleep. I swear I can smell. Do you want some? No way. This stuff's for couch potatoes. Questa era prima collezione di Ran. Volevi dire campione, o forse Rana, o forse campione, Van? It's up to us to get the evidence. We've got to catch that false leg crook and prove he's guilty. And how are we supposed to do that? Don't you worry, I've got a plan. That's exactly what I'm worried about. OK, bike man, where are you? I need another tip. How are you supposed to ride when you're starving? Ah, his bike. Can't be far away. Hello? Great. Just when I need him, at the most critical moment of my training. The old bacon sandwich dilemma. I'll get you for this, Gemma. <laughs> Right where we left it. So what now? We hide, we wait, then when it comes to get the leg, we take the photographs and go to the police. It's simple. With this string, I can lower the rock onto the shutter and the camera takes a shot. But what are these strings for? Turning the camera left or right? depending on where the person is. Wouldn't it be easier just to take the picture ourselves? No way. We have to stay well hidden or we mightn't get a clear shot. I knew I should have stayed in bed this morning. Now, while we wait, we can go over your lines, because as soon as we get out of this mess you got us into, we can get back to the play. 
think he's going a bit far with all this. The first night it rains, he'll be back in the house. You can bet on it. It's all my fault, I reckon. I told him he had to prove he was serious before I'd give him the bike. Maybe I should just let him have it. You're both a pair of worry warts. Look on the bright side. At least he's learning another language. Polish can be very useful. You kiss me again, my handsome prince. Not like that. You're meant to be in love. Oh, kiss me again and I'll rip your head off. Kate! Sorry, just came out. This is hopeless. No one's gonna come. Just a little longer. Ten more minutes and that's it. But I'm not doing lines anymore. Tom, look! Okay, get ready. Just a little to the left. <laughs> Romantica panini di pancetta. Romantica panini di pancetta. Oh, oh ma l'occhio! How long do I follow him? Do we see where he's going? But we've got the photos, isn't that enough? He could lead us to more evidence. Evidence of what? That's exactly what we have to find out. Come on. He's gone. Vanished into thin air. This critical training challenge has just become a whole lot more challenging. Flat tire, mate. Yeah, worse. A puncher. Oh, never mind. I'll give you a hand to fix it, eh? Hey, um, I saw your bike in the bush, but uh, you weren't around. Oh, I was out shooting. Shooting? Yep, yeah, my real love in life. Photographing birds. Oh, right. <laughs> How's the riding going? Great. I'm doing 20 k's a day. I've planned an aerobics exercise program. I've started sleeping outside and I'm learning Italian. Very impressive. Just got to make sure I don't peak too early, though. You know, most cyclists don't reach their peak till they're at least 28. 28? Often after 30. 30 years old? But that's like three times my entire life. It's cycling, mate. You need dedication. Yeah, dedication's one thing, but sacrificing your whole life is another. I don't get it. They're all photos of us. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? You pulled the string too hard. It was your dumb idea to have the string in the first place. If we just held the camera like I said, then he would have seen us. <laughs> At least we'd have some photos we could use. Hi, guys. Want some onion rings? No, thanks. No, thanks. My mum said if you want, you can come over this afternoon and rehearse. She'll even pick you up. Oh. Thanks, um, but this afternoon I'll be... I'll be having this really sore throat. You know you're gonna be ill? Even before it happens? It's hereditary. Gotta go, Dwayne. See ya. It's not me, is it? That makes it ill, I mean. <laughs> now Dwayne doesn't want to be in the play because he thinks he makes you sick. That's when we're the prime suspects for a crime, while the real killer's on the loose killing people because you duffed up some photos. I didn't duffer up anything. <sighs> What's that doing here? What? That. How should we know? Did you see the guy who owns it? No. What's so important about it anyway? <gasps> it's him! What? It's him! What? What a surprise. We know who you are. What's going on with you guys? We know all about you. Good. You can be my first victims for the day. Don't you touch us. We'll scream for help. How about you go first, eh, Mark? Show him how easy it is. You know him? This is the guy who's been helping me with my writing. He is? It's dental hygiene day. I'm doing checkups on everyone. You're a dentist? That's right. Quite a good one, too. Ever get the feeling you've just made a really dumb mistake? I think we've just made a really dumb mistake. Bye. Yeah, fine. Your teeth are in great shape. Why did you leave your bag in the bush? <sighs> Pretty stupid of me, eh? Went to photograph some birds, came out to my bike, realised I was late for an appointment and took off. Completely forgot the bag. But why the false leg? Oh, I've been trying it out on my bike. See if it'll help me pedal better. You've got a false leg? I had an accident a few years ago, Mark. I crashed in a bike race. In a bike race? Well, like I told you, it's a tough sport. Didn't think it was that tough. But why do you carry that jar of blood around with you? Blood? What, this? 
It's mouthwash. Mouthwash? Of course. Mouthwash. Ma, just the man I wanted to see. Now listen, about the bike. It's OK, Vinny. I've decided to hand it back. You have? Yeah. But thanks for the chance, though. But you were doing so well, mate. I thought you were going to train hard and become a pro. Not anymore. No way do I want to end up with a false leg. A false leg? Can't talk. Got to get to football practice. Thanks, Vinny. A false leg? Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. That's all I ever do. What, am I a slave around here or something? Stop slacking off and get back to work! Yeah, get back to work! Look yonder! It's the handsome prince! I wonder what you... Hey, guys. Hold on a moment, there's a new bit in the pie. A new bit? What new bit? On Cinderella's table is a glass of pretend wine. After you put the slipper on her foot, you drink a toast to her. Drink a toast. Got it. Oh, and uh, swish it around a bit before you swallow. The handsome prince should be here any moment! <laughs> Good luck. Look, it's the handsome prince. <laughs> For thee and forsooth, I seek the foot that fits this glass slipper. Be still my aching heart. Be still my heaving stomach. It fits. You're my princess and I your handsome prince. The wine, drink the wine, drink the wine. <clears throat> and now, a toast to thee, fair princess. That's it, Dwayne. Keep going, keep oh. going. Now, kiss me, my love. This better work or Greg's life won't be worth living. Dwayne? 